Okay, so um, I just thought I'd uh, show you the container. I said it's it's a little bit full now, to say the least. Uh, so there, there's the Pan European that we picked up. Really tidy bike, apart from the uh, the tank's got some paint missing there, and there's a few marks and stuff on it. But once we get into this other container, I can uh, have a proper look at it. Um, and that's the GL 1100. Uh, I've had to take the handlebars off um, just so I can get past the two of them because I'm not as slim as I used to be. Um, <clears throat> but the bike's all there. Um, we have to take the, the indicators off and the uh, the tail light off to actually for it to actually fit on the bike uh, bike rack, bike trailer when we when we picked it up. Um, and then this is. At the moment, it's all this stuff everywhere, but um, we'll get into this uh, this faulty footer and we'll have a bit more room. This is the trike. I know it might look and you think, oh my god, but it's not as bad as it looks. Um, I don't want to move a lot of this wire at the moment. Um, but we've got, as I said, we've got the Capri back axle. <coughs> and it's on a bolt-on frame. Um, reason being uh, that I want to try and keep it with the original registration rather than start modifying the frame and um, everything else so with a bolt on I can actually take it off and if need be uh, put the rear wheel back on and be able to use the bike as a bike put it back onto uh, the logbook as a two wheeler at some stage so um not a bad back axle all seems good um there are drum brakes on it at the moment um i am thinking possibly of maybe changing those to discs uh would make things a lot easier um but i will that's something a lot further down the line um <clears throat> so basically what i've done at the moment is i've stripped what was the good wiring loom believe it or not <laughs> i've stripped the good wiring loom back um, basically so i can pull some of the wires out of the way all this none of this is being used at the moment <clears throat> um i will start sort of working my way through and snipping stuff and whatever but at this moment in time what i've done um i had i couldn't use the ignition switch which is underneath here I uh, couldn't use the ignition switch because when I was going through the ignition switch um, the plastic uh, connector there that was get, that was starting to get warm which suggests that there's a problem inside the uh, ignition switch itself so I have um, I've basically just wired if you can see from here I've got a battery down here at the moment so I've got the earth on here I've got the live which is just connect will connect up onto onto this one this is starter solenoid and I'm just running into <coughs> a new fuse box which is here and um, there will be a 30 amp fuse going in in line here uh, which will most probably be a similar thing to this um, these are great these uh, they have little LEDs on so if a fuse goes on here LED comes on so if you have a problem when you're out I think these are really good and I think they're, they'd be a really good idea for, for any bike really not, not all trikes um, but yeah, yeah any fuse taken out LED light comes on they're around about £20 for a six six way can get a four-way I think you can get a two-way and a and a ten-way as well <clears throat> um, so normally your electrics would be you know a lot of these browns would be connected with um, the red going to the ignition coming back and, and all this sort of thing but I'm going to end up running the feeds out separately which should make the wiring a lot more simple but at this moment in time basically I've just got feed coming up onto uh, the live um, I've got 
the ignition circuit coming out. Um, I've already connected some of these because once I was testing to see where the power was going through. Um, <clears throat> and I have got uh, one of these which is running up to uh, the clocks um, to give us some power for the neutral switch. So basically you've got the ignition which is this one. Um, this is running up into the connector on, which is be the cutoff. Yeah, and that one is basically runs back down and then comes into this relay. Um, now the relay um, needs to be in because of the neutral switch as you can see there and if I pop that in gear it goes off and then back on um, <clears throat> and the neutral do so you have your live going into the neutral switch comes back down on the blue um, goes into the relay that then comes off and goes down to the neutral switch on the gear lever which then go goes to earth when it's in neutral if it's not in neutral um, the neutral light goes off and it won't start I've got a drawing um, two wiring diagrams for uh, one for the this ignition bit and one for the TCI unit and everything which we'll do uh, in a little while. <clears throat> so you have that there this is coming back down from the cutoff switch on here red and white back down that links out and goes onto the other side of this relay the other side of the relay is running from the neutral switch as I said I will show you the, the wiring diagram for this and you'll hear it click if I can just take the power off that is the relay kicking in and as long as that relay is kicked in this is your earth that's coming from clocks which is on the starter which I'll show you in a minute but with that on there it turns over take your cut off nothing if I put it into gear same again it will it will not run because it's it's switching the um, the ignition circuit off so on the button you have a blue and white normally it is on most of these bikes but on this one it is blue and white and a black the black is running to the earth which i have all the earths are down here at the moment so there's you might not be able to see but they're all on one look just past the regulator rectifier um the blue and white goes back down to the low tension side on the start of solenoid basically how it works is you have a live feed that goes to your start of solenoid the button is actually an earth that's it, that's all it is it it triggers the uh, the solenoid for the starter to jump across um, on top of that with it coming back out here so there's your ignition off the coming off the uh, the car switch that runs in there that then comes across when the relay kicks in onto this lead here that is then split goes up through resistor onto um, joining up with the white and red from the TCI unit which I'll show you in a minute and then that runs to the coils which are in here so it's sending 12 volts when the 
this is switched on. The uh, when the cutoff switch is switched on, and that sends it to twelve volts. I know I might be teaching grandmother to suck eggs, but I'm just explaining how it works so that some people who might not know uh, gives them an idea. So then the other feed, which was here, which is there, then runs back down. As you can see here, all the way down through and onto the TCI unit. You've also got a white, the white and red which we had running from there. So that's the whole ignition circuit connected up. It's on a fuse, so we've got some form of protection there. 